here I'm setting up the PL tone for the repeater, we're changing it. So we're uh, loading the repeater right now. It's, a, it's pretty heavy. So uh, right now we're driving up to Blue Mountain. We're almost there. All right, here we are at the uh, top of the mountain, and we're going to go up to a shack. So here's the shed we're putting in, and uh, we got to take out the old repeater and place it with this new unit here. It's a little shed on top of Blue Mountain here. And that's the antenna up there for the repeater, and the remote base gets that one on top of the shed right there. So, uh, Skylar's here cleaning out the shed. We're going to be installing the new repeater in here. So, here we are in the last bit of installation for our uh, Blue Mountain repeater. We're putting together the ties and hooking up all the wires. Getting this uh, going, hopefully, it'll. <laughs> work and not explode when we put it all together. Yeah, it's pretty stuffy in here. Okay. Oh, which one's transmitter and which one's receiver? Here's the whole setup in the box right here that Skylar's working on. Up here on top is my uh Here's the remote base, VHF or UHF, here's the URIs. Got an SCOM or got the micro tick back in here, the router. An SCOM uh, repeater controller. We got the actual repeater up here, duplexer, and his Raspberry Pi power supply underneath the duplexer, so it's pretty loaded in this uh, GE cabinet rack. So it's now three days later. We're back on Blue Mountain. We were having all sorts of problems, so I, I didn't get any footage of it, but um, we were having internet issues and all that, and finally came up and uh, got that fixed, so I'll take you in the shed and we'll see, uh, show you all the parts. Beautiful day up here on uh, Blue Mountain. Got some trees blocking the city, so you can't really see it, but yeah. So in the shack, and we finally got everything configured. My computer there, I was using to configure stuff. We've got on top the VHF remote base, next to the UHF remote base, and all mounted in a nice uh, rack shelf with a MicroTik router um, here. S Tomer computer controller, and then here's Jerry W0GV's uh, repeater. And Raspberry Pi to interface his repeater with All Star, and of course the duplexer cavities. So, um, three days later, and uh, finally got all this uh, configured and working, and uh, I'll do a little demo of the remote base. Here's the microwave dish uh, where internet's coming in from yeah. Mountain Broadband. Right. And, uh, and at the top of the tower, it's going out and feed the valley to the south of us. So here's a quick and dirty demo of uh, the remote base. I've just got the mobile radio here. Just, I just put it right here, and then I've a handheld there. So if I dial um, DTMF command, I can connect into the remote base and uh, control it to what frequency. And I'm going to go to... 146.550 We'll see if we can hear it out on the handheld. So we got the handheld here 
Got the mobile going to the repeater. The repeater will be connected up to the remote base, and let's see if we can uh, talk to it. KD zero WHB with thumbs. ARS is still tracking you well. So. No. Sounds like we have some traffic on uh, Pikes Peak Repeater, which we're currently listening on. So, uh, remote base is currently connected to Pikes Peak, and we're hearing it from here. So let me get into remote control mode and uh, steer it to channel uh, 2, which is 55 simplex. KD0 WHB with tones. Okay, I am not transmitting, allowed to transmit. Okay, let's see if I hear it out of my handheld. Kitty zero, Kitty XP. And as you heard, uh, there's an echo, so came back on 146.55 simplex on my handheld, so the remote base uh, indeed works, and I'm just out here in the mobile right now. Demoing 